<laughs> the foundation of Satanism is built upon the self. Skull and Bones says someone has been calling students to recruit them and then asking them to complete a humiliating challenge. Is the Bilderberg group the true elite that rules the world? Do they manipulate presidents and economies? This, this society had a very esoteric base. It, behind it, it had links with the wisdom. People ask for riches. They ask if we can allow them access to the Illuminati. Number seven, Skull and Bones Tomb. The enigmatic aura surrounding Yale University's Skull and Bone Secret Society is a captivating blend of mystery, intrigue, and whispered legends. Nestled within the historic campus of New Haven, Connecticut, lies a building veiled in secrecy, the tomb, where the elusive motto, Lux Est Veritas, takes on an entirely clandestine meaning. Founded in 1832, Skull and Bones has since become synonymous with exclusivity and power. Its members, affectionately known as Bonesmen, have traversed the corridors of influence, ascending to the pinnacles of corporations, government offices, the judiciary, and even the presidency. Yet the veiled veil of the society shrouds its true purpose and activities in a cloak of ambiguity. The official roster of Skull and Bones was publicly disclosed until 1971, leading to rampant speculation about the organization's clandestine machinations. Wild conjectures range from Bonesmen wielding covert influence over the Central Intelligence Agency to being part of a global cabal with aspirations of world domination or even being connected to the elusive Illuminati. The focal point of this enigma is the tomb, a structure exuding an Egypto-Doric grandeur that hints at ancient secrets and hidden knowledge. The inside of the tomb is lined with skeletons and skulls. Skull and Bone says someone has been calling students to recruit them and then asking them to complete a humiliating challenge. You were both in Skull and Bones, the secret society. It's so secret we can't talk about. It. Skull and Bones dates back to 1832. It has been portrayed in books, films, and conspiracy theories. Its windowless facade stands as a monolithic sepulchre, rumored to safeguard a trove of forbidden lore. Within its sanctum, whispered rumors swirl about a repository of forbidden relics and ancient artifacts, including the alleged skulls of Geronimo and Pancho Villa, the gravestone of Elihu Yale, and other clandestine treasures acquired through acts of cunning thievery known as crooking. The very essence of skull and bones seems intertwined with enigmatic rituals, esoteric knowledge and a shadowy legacy. The mysteries of the tomb beckon curious minds, inviting speculation and fueling the mythos surrounding this secretive society. What transpires behind its sandstone walls remains a tantalizing enigma, fueling the imagination and perpetuating the allure of Yale's most infamous clandestine brotherhood. Number 6. Bilderberg Club, Hotel de Bilderberg the enigmatic gatherings of the Bilderberg Club have been a subject of fascination and speculation since their inception in 1954. This secretive annual meeting, shrouded in mystery and surrounded by conspiracy theories, brings together a select group of international leaders from various fields without a disclosed agenda or official resolutions. The inaugural meeting at the Hotel de Bilderberg in 1954 marked the beginning of a tradition where prominent figures from Europe and North America convened to engage in discussions that remain undisclosed to the public. The absence of a formal agenda, voting procedures, or public statements has fueled speculation and conjecture about the true nature and purpose of these gatherings. Attendees of the Bilderberg meetings include influential individuals from politics, business, media, and communications, adding to the aura of secrecy and intrigue surrounding the group. Leaked information about the participants has offered glimpses into the roster of attendees, but the full list is never officially disclosed. The Bilderberg Group is a meeting of the most influential people in Europe and North America. Every year, where the rich and the powerful can meet and exchange ideas in complete secrecy. Is the Bilderberg Group the true elite that rules the world? Do they manipulate presidents and economies? This is not a lobby group for a certain uh, company. Conspiracy theories regarding the Bilderberg Group abound, with claims ranging from plans for capital domination, a world government, or a controlled economy. 
The intense level of secrecy maintained by the group has only served to amplify these speculations. One undeniable aspect of the Bilderberg meetings is the exclusivity of their guest list. The more prominent and influential an individual is, the more likely they are to receive an invitation to the next year's conference. This exclusivity further fuels curiosity and speculation about the discussions and potential agendas that unfold behind closed doors at these annual gatherings. The Bilderberg Group remains an enigmatic entity with its true intentions and discussions hidden from public scrutiny. The allure of secrecy, coupled with the caliber of attendees, continues to generate intrigue and conjecture, making the Bilderberg meetings a perennial topic of fascination and speculation. Number 5. Scientology's Trementina Base The world of Scientology is a blend of celebrity glamour, controversy and secrecy, making it a subject of intense public scrutiny and fascination. While the organization boasts famous members like Tom Cruise and John Travolta, it has also faced criticism and allegations of cult-like practices. At the core of Scientology beliefs is the notion that humans are immortal beings with past lives on other planets, now inhabiting Earth. However, it's Scientology's aggressive approach toward critics and its secretive nature that often draw the most attention. The organization has been known to use character assassination and legal tactics against skeptics, contributing to its controversial reputation. Intriguing about the Church of Scientology and why are people so passionately for and against it? First thing when, when you talk about Scientology is the legal team comes in. The facility is an underground bomb shelter where they're going to preserve their most sacred tact. You become a superhuman. You have powers over matter, energy, space, and time. One of Scientology's intriguing aspects is its hierarchy and hidden teachings. Members must progress through multiple levels before gaining access to certain knowledge and practices. The church operates celebrity centers, welcoming those with a vision for a better world, while the church of the spiritual technology is reserved for trusted members managing elaborate bases like the Trementina base. Trementina base, officially claimed to preserve founder L. Ron Hubbard's writings, holds a deeper mystery. Beneath its surface lie underground dwellings and tunnels, but what catches attention are the massive symbols of the church's logo carved into the earth, visible from aerial photographs. Former members suggest these symbols mark return points for time travelers or places of significance for Hubbard's supposed return. The secrecy and symbolism surrounding Trementina base fuels speculation and conspiracy theories, adding layers to Scientology's enigmatic image. It's this blend of celebrity allure, aggressive tactics against critics, and hidden mysteries that continue to keep Scientology in the spotlight, generating both intrigue and controversy in equal measure. Number 4. The Illuminati, Domus Sancte Marthe The Illuminati, a clandestine group founded in 1776, has sparked centuries of intrigue and conspiracy theories. Comprised of freethinkers, humanists, and academics, their mission was to challenge superstition, prejudice, and religious influence while advocating for women's advancement. Despite its dissolution a decade after inception, rumors persist of the Illuminati's continued influence. These people are extremists. They're religious extremists. The foundation of Satanism is built upon the self. A lot of people feel like outsiders, and so they come to us because they're looking for people that are accepting. People ask for riches, they ask if we can allow them access to the Illuminati. Many modern groups claim descent from the original Bavarian Illuminati, though no concrete evidence ties them together. One of the enduring mysteries is the location of their headquarters, with theories pointing to iconic sites worldwide. The notion that the Vatican houses the Illuminati's leadership is particularly captivating, given the group's historical opposition to the church. Some theories suggest the Pope, residing in the modest Doma Sancte Marthe, could be a high-ranking Illuminati figure. While these theories often stray into the realm of speculation, they underscore the enduring fascination with secret societies and the allure of hidden power structures. Whether the Illuminati's influence persists or not, its legacy continues to captivate imaginations and fuel conspiratorial discussions around the globe. Number 3. Ordo Templi Orientis, Bay Area Thelemic Temple The Order of the Temple of the East, born in the late 19th to early 20th century, emerges as a captivating blend of mysticism and secrecy. 
Initially shaped by industrialist Carl Kellner, it was Aleister Crowley's involvement that infused OTO with enigmatic allure. Drawing inspiration from Freemasonry, OTO's unique essence stems from Crowley's Thelema, a belief system encapsulated in the Book of Law with its core principle, Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. This mantra, interwoven with elements from occultism, Eastern and Western mysticism, forms the spiritual fabric of Oto. Members of Oto progress through a hierarchy via intricate rites and rituals, ascending levels with evocative titles like Minerval, Master Magician, and Grand Master of Light. Central to Oto are its magical ceremonies, rumored to include tantric practices, angelic and demonic summonings, and astral projection. The Gnostic Mass, akin to a Catholic ceremony but with esoteric twists, is a cornerstone where symbolic transformations of the host and wine occur. Oto's places of worship, known as camps, oases, or lodges, remain shrouded in mystery, with locations kept confidential from the public eye. The Oakland Oasis, for instance, hosts weekly Gnostic Masses in a candlelit temple adorned with Egyptian motifs, veiling its inner workings in enigma. The essence of Oto lies in its elusive nature, with initiation ceremonies and shared knowledge veiled behind a curtain of mystery. As Crowley himself hinted in his autobiography, The Confessions of Aleister Crowley, Oto guards a supreme secret, teasingly revealed to members through a labyrinth of clues and revelations embodying the mystique and fascination that define this enigmatic order. Number 2. Priory of Sion, Bibliothèque Nationale de France the Priory of Sion stands as a captivating enigma, surrounded by layers of myth, controversy, and skepticism. At the heart of this mystery is the belief, held by many, in the existence of a secret society tasked with safeguarding the descendants of Jesus and Mary Magdalene, purportedly settled in France. The tale gained momentum in the 1970s with the emergence of the Dossier Secret de l'Henri Lobineau, allegedly housed within the Bibliothèque Nationale de France. These documents, including maps, genealogies, and a list of grand masters like Sir Isaac Newton and Leonardo da Vinci, fueled speculation about the Priory of Sion's hidden legacy. However, scrutiny revealed that the files were likely a fabrication orchestrated by Pierre Plantard, who claimed descent from Jesus' bloodline. Plantard's motive seemed to be perpetuating an elaborate hoax, which scholars and historians widely agree upon. The Priory of Sion, it appears, is a product of Plantard's imagination rather than a historical reality. Despite academic consensus on its fictional nature, the allure of the Priory of Sion persists in popular culture. Books, films, and articles continue to explore the tantalizing narrative of a secret society guarding ancient lineage. Whether rooted in truth or myth, the legend of the Priory of Sion remains a captivating chapter in the ongoing fascination with secret societies and hidden histories. Number 1. Rosicrucianism, Rosicrucian Park In the early 17th century, the mysterious Fama Fraternitiatis introduced the legend of Christian Rosencruz and the Order of the Temple of the Rosy Cross. The Rosicrucian Order can be traced back historically to the 1600s. It was uh, perpetuating something much older. The Rosicrucian studies, as well as things that come out of these traditions, really do provide a manual. This, this society had a very esoteric base. It, behind it, it had links with the wisdom. Rosencruz's travels through the Middle East, gathering esoteric wisdom, led to the formation of the fraternity, aiming for a universal reformation of mankind. Though shrouded in secrecy and legend, groups like the ancient mystical order Rogea Crucius claim lineage to this enigmatic order. Amork, headquartered in San Jose's Rosicrucian Park, delves into mysticism, healing, and symbolism weaving a captivating narrative of ancient wisdom and esoteric knowledge. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.